Hey guys, just wanted to show you the tank. I had a little problem a few days ago. One of my quarries died from what I believe was some kind of parasite infection. He was um, like swimming, swimming around all funny, not maintaining his balance. And I noticed the other one was, um, one of the other ones was scratching his face on stuff. So, um, without really knowing what it was, I. Um, threw in some of this stuff, which I just happened to have laying around the house. Not the best thing for um, for treating whatever I had, but um, like I said, I didn't know what it was, and this is just like a kind of a broad spectrum sort of thing, I guess. So, um, uh, it seems to be working out well. I haven't noticed any noticed any uh, scratching or anything weird like that from any of the quarries. Also going through a little bit of a brown algae phase in this tank now, which is kind of to be expected. It's really taken a toll on these uh, Limnophila aquatica plants. Hold on a second, I'm going to turn that thing off. As I was saying, uh, the brown algae is kind of taking a toll on these fine-leaved plants. Don't really have anything to um, that's uh, that has the uh, ability to get on those those tiny leaves and clean it off. So it just has to kind of sit there and let algae grow on it. I'd like to, um, the red cherry shrimp might be able to help out with that, but I wouldn't want to put those in with these black skirt tetras. These things are, like, insane. Funny story, this one time I had a pretty good sized earwig fall into the tank, and these guys just, like, ripped it apart. Pincers and all. They didn't stand a chance, so I, I wouldn't want to put, um, any red sherry shrimp in here, those guys might try to, if not consume it entirely, at least like rip its legs off or whatever. And it wouldn't be very nice for those shrimp. So I'm just gonna have to kind of deal with the algae. Don't know of any place around here that sells a mono shrimp, so um, those things might do a little bit better, but being a little bit bigger. But anyway, that's all I have to say about this tank for now, and thanks for watching, guys. Later.